The CTE program in general is a wonderful program. Every one of them has a component of literacy, which includes certainly all math, reading, writing, as well as specific technical information. But I know that the teachers that I work with uh, do a wonderful job and they work as hard as you can possibly work to provide a quality education or at least an opportunity for a quality education. If you do the things that I ask you to do and you learn the things that I would like to teach you, there's nothing that we cannot do. So there's no dance experience that's required. This is all an introduction to movement and music. It's a safe space, a safe learning environment for our students. It's creative, it's fun. We aim, in my class I aim to inspire community um, connection and joy. Having fun while dancing and creating. The students do learn lots of technique and technical dance moves that they can take with them and apply right now. Lighting, camera work, editing, all of those things put together, the basics of film, you learn from the beginning to the end in three phases in your three years. Welding is a building block process. The way it is broken down throughout the three years is nice because it allows the students to not only learn the basics of all the processes, but also to further their skills on regarding those processes, which transitions into a job after their senior year. My name is Julio Rivera. This is Fredo at Thomas Edison High School Welding Department. This is how you use the Lincoln Electric Vertex Machine. Um, we're going to show you another way of it. As you can see right here, I got it in a different angle. He's going to do half and half. Right now, he's going to do half fast and half slow. But with the slow one, he's going to do it as he's far away. Look at this. You can change it how you please. Right now, he's too far. And as you can see, this bit of dots, this is exactly how it's going to be if we're going to be out there in the shop. And that means it, it has porosity and a lot of discontinuity and he's very far. You can tell just by looking at the angle. If you're shaking too much, if you are not ready, or if you're very close, you could damage the machine and it simulate exactly how it's gonna be in the shop. We actually have 10th graders that began this year. They are about to do a full paint job on a Dodge pickup. They're also about to do a custom paint job on a Mazda Miata and they are restoring a 1967 Pontiac GTO. I can prepare a student here in three years to be able to work on electrical problems, to be able to work on suspension problems, engine running problems, and also repair brakes. 10th grade year, just a, re just a regular person. I didn't know anything about cars, but they just interest me because I just, I thought it was just so cool to see that how the technology is improving over time. And, Right now, I'm, I'm currently working for the city. Uh, they offered me an internship at Fleet Management, and I'm making good money. If, if I keep my grades up and performance, and as far as behavior, I can get a, I can get a pension, and, I, and I, they'll, they'll hire me right on the spot as soon as I get, into, as soon as I get out of school. Well, for, for me, well, I, I wish I had this program when I was in high school. If I would have known, I would have I would have here because <laughs> basically this helps you uh, if you go through a program and learn everything you you don't have to go to trade school there's things here that I can teach that that trade school already does trade school is about fifteen thousand dollars to go into but it's important because we're we're actually in demand a lot and we're short staffed so uh, right now for example the school district uh, of Philly is looking for electricians because all their guys are, are retiring and they're hiring from high school, they're hiring our own students. The type of student that really likes this class is the creative student. Whether it's drawing, there are students that can draw beautifully, there are students that um, can't draw at all that take this class, but they like the idea of creating something on a computer, being able to take nothing and form something. There are tremendous artists in this class who love to sketch and they take their sketches and bring it into a computer and the programs of Photoshop, Illustrator, bring that drawing to life. When they leave from us, they do receive a certificate uh, from us basically saying that they either completed three years or four years in a program. What that entitles them is uh, entry into the military or one of the armed forces with more stripes, which means creates some more money for them. Or they usually have first preference into a JROTC college unit within the local area, Temple, and we also have St. Joe's. 
of some of the hands-on things we do are CPR, vital signs, getting a patient in and out of a bed, using a gait belt, walking with crutches, walking with canes, making a bed, making a bed with a patient in it, using a wheelchair, using a bedside commode, and putting a patient on a bedpan, and we also do dressings. I like to tell people it's not just doing hair. And you don't have to just sit behind a chair. You could be a platform stylist, stylist to the stars, me, a teacher, you know, you could own a salon, you could be a traveling stylist. The sky's the limit. It's all in what you want to do, and you make it happen. You have the line, the baking station, sanitation station, um, the soup station, and the uh, garden manger. That's where we cook all your food. You want a salad, we make you a salad. You want the entrees, you make you the entrees. You want some soup, we give you some soup. Sanitation station is just um, washing the dishes, making sure everything's clean, mopping the floors, sweeping the floors. When the students finish the, our plumbing program here, they'll be ready as an apprentice to go to work for a plumbing contractor. You can expect to, to learn, like, mostly safety at first, and then you'll slowly get into learning about what each pipe does, how to cut it, how to put it together, stuff like that, and then you'll eventually start installing and repairing things. Whether it's a commercial contractor, residential contractor, they'll have the basic knowledge to go in and become productive almost right away, which is what the goal is.